Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Gore from Light and Matter, and uh, today I'm just doing a quick video on working with product photos in Photoshop CS6, uh, just to show how quick and easy these things can be um, compared to previous versions, although this is something that was actually relatively easy in CS5 as well. Let's take a look at the photo I've got here on the screen. This is, of course, the new uh, 5D Mark III. And it's just a um, press release photo that they uh, handed out. I'm going to begin by uh, using the magic wand tool with tolerance of 50 just to select the white background. Then Control shift i to invert that selection, and Refine Edge to make sure that I'm getting what I need. I'm going to shift the edge in a little bit. In some cases, I would also feather the edge. Uh, this is a high enough um, resolution image that I probably wouldn't bother with it because I'm going to be downsizing it, but for the moment I will. Then, Control J to jump that up onto a new layer. Also going to press Control J again just to have a second copy. Then, on the original layer, Control T to transform it, and I'm right-clicking to flip this vertically. Uh, this is just to make a uh, reflection. I'm going to get my Move tool, move this down into this region, then reduce the opacity so it looks a little bit more like a reflection. Now, I'm going to uh, add in an empty layer, select my fill bucket. Uh, I'm going to hold down the Alt key to pick a color that's being reflected in the lens here. I, I like the green, uh, this magenta sort of color is not too bad either. I'll use that for the moment. Now, with uh, this fill layer selected, I'm just going to go up to the filter menu, click on lighting effects, and you can very easily adjust uh, exactly where you want the lighting to be in this image. And as you can see here, if you look at the uh, top of the camera, the key light is on this side. This side's a little bit in shadow, although there's a second light over here. So I'm going to uh, move my, my light here off to the camera left just a little bit. And I really don't like that background color at all. But uh, for the moment, that's fine. I click OK. And, as you can see, we have an image that, um, well, it really looks like it's just sort of been placed onto a, a different background. Again, just a very quick and, uh, and simple uh, set of adjustments here. I'm actually going to redo this with a different colored background. I think I will try this green instead. Um, there we go, and I'll get that um, lighting effect going again here. That's much better. There we go, and press OK to accept that. And probably the final thing that I will do is get my elliptical marquee tool, add in a feather of about 50, and I'm just going to put in 
a little bit of a shadow down here at the base of the camera. It looks like that was too much feather. That looks okay. I'll get uh, a darker color. Get a large brush and just paint that in. Actually, I'm going to go with black. Just paint in over that. And because of the feather, that um, gets a nice soft edge. Okay. D to deselect that, and that looks a little bit better. Uh, and finally, I guess I would probably uh, either use an adjustment layer or the burn tool to uh, burn out some of the highlights in the bottom of this camera. But all in all, that was a very quick and easy way to um, make the product photo a little bit more interesting looking. Just to show you where we started off, I'm going to um, move this on the screen a little bit, hold down the Alt key, and click the visibility icon in front of this background layer. That's what we started off with, and that's what we ended up with. Not, not too bad. Um, and actually, as long as I'm here, I will go ahead, get the burn tool, Increase the brush size. I do this by using the right bracket. And I'll just burn in a little bit of the base of this camera. And particularly down here along this bottom edge. There we go. Much, much better. That looks a little bit more realistic. All right, that is it.